Hello everyone, welcome back. It's Chuck Thunder. We're back with another episode of my Let's Play series of Vineland, New Jersey. Hometown series, because that's where I live, Jersey. And uh, I want to show you guys what's going on here. So we have gone and sold most of our straw rolls. We've loaded up that one there with the remainder so we earned a little bit of our money back from the straw rolls. And you guys saw me use this here to get my straw rolls made up. You also should know that I have... Okay, yeah, everything else here. Um, I probably have also sold, in the team time that I've been gone from the episode, sold off a trailer full of tomatoes. Another thing that New Jersey is known for, got, obviously got some stuff growing and we sprayed the fields for weeds. So we're on the track of doing more of the same, which is growing um, different crops. So we grow our, we're growing our barley right now. I really don't want to do barley in the long run. Um, so <clears throat> there's a few things. One, I've learned from a recent Farmer Cop video that canola oil is not the sorry, is not the one of the better things to pay off. It has a slow turnaround as well as also a um, very profit, a very very little profit by comparison to um, other uh, products here. So I'd like to get to bread. Um, so that's why I am excited to do barley because barley we could at least then grind down to flour in here and then in here when we get flour made up we could then bring flour over to some place to make bread um, and I'd also like to get to do wine at some point um, uh, or call it grape juice I guess I'm gonna call it wine in the series because down in South Jersey especially in this area there's a lot of wine um, uh, places, uh, wineries that I, I've visited myself and they are wonderful. So that is something that's going to be in the future here with us. Let's take a look to see if there's anything on sale. A dirt bike, which we don't need. A reasonably sized tractor, uh, tractor, but we don't need that either and we don't have the money for it. And a couple of other things that are unnecessarily uh, are necessary for us. <clears throat> so um, we are going to just after we just checked you up on here. We are going to fast forward here We're going to continue to do some selling um, Of things that produce at our farm um, we'll check in with you guys when it is the harvest season and uh, See where we are there and see what we can maybe improve upon, uh, upon our situation um, I might want to get a chainsaw and start cutting down some trees that are in the way too as well um, But yeah, check in with you guys when there's something important happening here um, and if anything changes, see you then. All right, everyone. So what's new is that we went and bought ourselves a few things to occupy us in the winter time, which is to mow some grass. Um, I am at that point where in the winter time, there's not much to do. Now you would never grow grass in, in the winter time, uh, in real life, but we are going to do some harvesting of grass and turning it into silage. That's what we'll do in the off season. So I got myself a mower and I got myself a wrapper, as you can see there sitting on the ground. Those two things I should be able to, in theory, after baling um, these into grass uh, bales, should be able to turn them into silage. So that is something I am going to do. Um, I don't know how much of my grass I'm gonna do this with. I don't really foresee me doing much of this until I have a field dedicated to grass um, so in the meantime I am just filling in the void with the spaces that we have in between our fields with grass um, as a way to make a little extra money out of our property while we wait for the barley to uh, become a thing so let's just start with that and see what we get off of that I don't think we're gonna get very much um, I would ted this too if I could, but uh, or not ted it, um, windrow it, but I don't have a windrower right now, and I think I may be able to afford one. That's a tedder. I might be able to afford a windrower if we find one. Windrower, yeah, for 2500 bucks. Yeah, I guess we could afford one. Um, but I just don't see the purpose right now. Um, I'd, I'd rather a bigger one. I don't want a small one right now. Um, so let's go see what this turns us into here. Well, let's go grab our...
baler. Jeez, that took me a long time to be able to say that. Now that we got our baler. Let us see what we can get off of this baler. Baler's on. Lower the... Let's see what we can get off of it. Okay, so that's interesting. I had half a, um, a thing of hay, and once you start collecting grass, it just converts everything that was in it already to grass, so that's kind of nice. I just got a half a bale for free, um, which isn't bad, I guess, but as you can see here, this is going to be a while. We may get like two bales off of this if we're lucky. I say if we're lucky, because it doesn't really, it won't earn our money back. Our investment of like six or seven grand there into um, the materials that we just used to buy this, but this little strip is a small area, so we're going to see what this earns us, or what the potential for earning is, after we've bailed our maximum that we could bail off of this. Alright, <clears throat> it's one of the downfalls of this tractor, is that it has like one of the worst turning radiuses I've ever seen in a tractor. But let's just see. We'll probably get to 100 and then we'll probably be 150 altogether. I don't think we're going to get there with this baler twice. And that's with the assistance of having What's going on? Are we slipping? All right, there we go. Let's flip over to the bale to the other side now. Ninety-seven. See what this gets us. <coughs> Excuse me. See what that gets us. I don't think we're definitely not going to reach another thousand liters here, or whatever the amount is for this area. But let's at least collect it, get it into the uh, bale wrapper at the very least. I'd like to get a whole second bale out of it, so if we have to cut a little bit more, we will. To at least finish off the bale. Um, that was 20% on one pass, so this is going to be probably another 20% on this pass or less. Nah, no, definitely not. Ten percent on that pass. That's it. I guess we'll go with this strip here. Pick that up. Probably like thirty-seven percent. That's gonna be my guess. Yep. Alright, so we're at 37%. Takes a while to disconnect. Alright, let's let's go wrap that last one. Let's just see how this wrapper works. I've never used this wrapper before. Unfold barrel bail wrapper, okay. Oh, 
Well, that's clearly not how that works. I wonder if I have to come at it from the side. Because it doesn't... It doesn't automatically grab it, so I'm wondering if I do this. No. So what happens now? Can I lift the bale? Well, first let's turn on super strength. Can I lift the bale and put it on? Yeah, so it's got to be placed on. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's a little frustrating, but not the end of the world. <clears throat> So we have a bale of silage. Let's turn on automatic drop. Sweet. So now we have 7,000 liters of grass turning into silage. Pretty cool. All right, so that's kind of fun. So if we had 7,000 liters, that's, let's say that's all we get off of it. What are we expected to get off of it? silage we could expect to get a hundred and eighty seven dollars per thousand liters so not much it's a few hundred dollars per bale but interesting enough it'll take a little while to earn our money back from that definitely might invest in something that's a little bit more of an automatic bale wrapper because that is a little frustrating to have to do that in order to get um what the heck what the heck just happened here? Let's make sure everything's okay. Okay. Yeah, so we're gonna... We definitely want to do some more mowing, but I don't know that this is the way we're gonna do it in the future. Um, mowing is gonna be uh, significantly better when we have our own field and we can hire a worker to do it. Um, right now we're not earning enough to make it worth our while uh, to do this so at least we have the mower we have everything else we need I'm not gonna bother trying to uh, save more uh, here I can do more of it we're just gonna hold off I just I knew I wanted the basics of a silage situation um, if the money's in it later we will absolutely uh, get a better silage wrapper uh, I would have done a bunker but a bunker is not an option so we have a baler so we're gonna make use of that wonder if while that one still has that bale um, tractor or that bale trailer has uh, the other stuff on it if it will still pick up um, additional pieces of uh, bailed goods that are not the same because if that's the case I'll just go ahead and load that on there and then hopefully the two will become you know one and then I can sell them together as it ferments okay let's try not to run into everything that would be wonderful alright so a baler was a good investment I think so far we've already earned our I don't think we've earned our money back yet worth it in um, hay but we will get our money back in hay probably in the next two seasons um, so that'll be ready and then obviously we still have canola oil to sell once that becomes available to us come on disconnect jeez takes a long time to disconnect maybe that's something the mod developers can look at for that one Okay, naturally this thing has a terrible turning radius, but it is very powerful in this tractor. So let us go grab that grass silage bale. Alright, come on. Oops, bailed. Alright, literally bailed. Haha, <laughs> haha, bailed. Okay, so... This is the transporting position, or is this the... No, okay, cool. So we can load it. All right, so you can hold a mishmash of things. Very cool. 
All right, so that now has three hay bales on there that are probably 7,000 liters and one 7,000 liter. Um, yeah, it doesn't distinguish uh, what's on it. But these are 10,000 liter straw bales. Okay, so you can fit more more straw in a bale than you can grass when it comes to that baler. Interesting to know. So we got 30,000 liters of grass, I mean of, of straw. So, all right, well, that's good. We'll check in with you guys when it's harvest season because we're not gonna continue to mow at this stage. We'll check in with you soon. See you later. Hello everyone, and we're back with another check-in here let's see we have done a sell of our tomatoes we have started harvesting our barley and we um, are now at that stage of just grinding through this pattern until we get enough money um, I'm really not excited here to uh, just keep on showing you all in all, all of my harvesting because there's plenty of harvesting to be done each year. And so what I want to do is I want to go through a few seasons of this. It'll be a little while before the next episode is posted because what I really would like to do is I would like to, oh wow, I have the dust turned up all the way on this. Uh, how do I adjust the dust? Left shift and down, there we go. Now it's not as dusty. Pretty dusty, but. Left shift it down. I don't like it to be nothing. Yeah, that's too small. We're gonna do. I'll do 1.5. Uh, but yeah, well, I don't really want to like you know, use up all of your guys' time watching me do harvesting. So we're gonna check in with you guys when I've gotten pretty far along here. When I've gotten these fields all harvested and everything else, and, I, and I've made enough money to uh, turn things around and get uh, right into um, you know bigger and better things I really would like to do grapevines at some point um, so we'll do a live stream whenever we play going forward I'm not going to do recordings anymore we'll just live stream the rest of these as we uh, progress through the story here because really as we're doing here this is just kind of the basic uh, process now and there's really no reason to waste your time watching me harvest. We're gonna, if you guys want to join me for the live streams in the future, then that's what we'll do. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoy the series as it has been so far, and we'll check in with you guys in the next live stream, which will probably be in a week. We'll take care, guys. Thank you again for watching. It's Chuck Thunder signing out.